الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد وعلیٰ علیہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد احبت فی اللہ میں اللہ تبارک و تعالی بلس اس اینڈ بلس یو فار گیو اس اینڈ فار گیو یو اینڈ گائڈ اس اینڈ گائڈ یو نیریڈ ان ام کلثوم بنت عقبہ رضی اللہ تعالی عنہم that she heard Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, He who makes peace between the people by inventing good information or saying good things is not a liar. Ruahu Bukhari This hadith in Sahih Bukhari, Ahabatifillah, it shows us that Islam distinguishes between those people who are the people of fasad and those people who are the people of islah, the people who try to rectify. So what we see from this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam is that there are times when someone perhaps may be exaggerating the truth or in fact what we consider even to be a lie giving false information can actually be rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and actually it can be a virtue that should be uh, extolled and this is in the case when making islah between two people when rectifying between two believers for example that have fallen out that have discord and disharmony and disunity between them and that when you perhaps out of the intention of trying to bring good between their hearts and you say to one of them you say so and so said this positive thing about you or says he wishes to rectify the situation between you or so and so offered you such and such gift or whatever the case may be that this ahabatifillah can actually be a scale on your good deeds because your intention was pure and we have this nafs we have this text which shows us the permissibility of this because the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said he who makes peace between people by inventing information or saying good things is not a liar so we know that this <coughs> under this situation it's not madhmoom <coughs> But rather, it's mishroor, wa memdur, that it is uh, praiseworthy and it is legislated. And likewise, another scenario that will be familiar with us is in the situation when we have discord or a, uh, even perhaps even a divorce between the husband and wife, and where they still have a time uh, where they can rectify and make islah that by mentioning saying she said this about you of course if that there's some intention obviously for them to rectify but the point is is to to try to rectify a situation trying to bring about good trying to bring about harmony between the believers even if it was through exaggeration or it was through perhaps even a lie that this would not be considered the lying which we know is madhmoom which is negative and sinful but rather this would be something which perhaps would be pleasing which would be pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala otherwise the Prophet والسلام, would not have mentioned that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with ilm al-nafi rizqan tayyib wa amal al to forgive us of our many sins to bless us with those things that please him Protect us from those things, those actions, those deeds which displease him. <clears throat> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas fil amal and muwafaqa to sunnah, sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.